Often when we look up into the sky, we're graced with the natural beauty of the stars. However, if you were in Southern California, December 22nd, you might have seen a more man-made spectacle. An ethereal trail cast across the sky, ascending up into space, all courtesy of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. This rocket was launched 30 minutes after sunset from the Vandenberg Air Force Base just north of LA and was carrying 10 Iridium Next communication satellites. The mission itself was an astounding success, but despite Elon Musk's own jokes of a nuclear alien UFO from North Korea, you might be wondering why you should care. So here at Question, we're going to answer that for you. What makes Falcon 9 so special? To answer this question broadly, before we go into specifics, the Falcon 9 is a startling piece of numerous engineering innovations, so much so that each piece alone makes this a wonderfully unique creation. However, it's the how behind these parts that's even more unique, since each piece of the Falcon 9 is made in-house by SpaceX. Through in-house design, fabrication and testing, the rocket was able to be made incredibly cheaply as well as quickly due to any issue happening within the parts being fixed in fractions of the time that it might take from some other intermediary party, as well as costing fractions less for much the same reasons. It could be argued then that these startling innovations couldn't have happened without such vertical integration, letting SpaceX push their budgets as far as possible to design these parts. So, speaking of parts, let's look under the hood of the Falcon 9 and see what makes it soar. To start, we have the Merlin engine. It's the most efficient booster engine ever built, with its thrust to weight ratio exceeding 150. A single engine alone is incredibly powerful, with its starting thrust being 190,000 pounds before rising to a total of 205,500 when it climbs out of the atmosphere. Yet, even with all of this power, the engine maintains all the safety margins needed to carry astronauts. It's with nine of these engines that the Falcon 9 is able to take off. Then we have the Interstage, an ingenious riff upon the Merlin engine's design with modifications to allow for operation in the vacuum of space. It's meant to burn for about six minutes, but is able to be remotely shut down and restarted numerous times to deliver different payloads. All of this in turn helps to make this have the highest engine efficiency of any American liquid oxygen or kerosene engine with its vacuum ISP of 348 seconds. After reaching the appropriate level for orbit, the interstage drops off the payload. The payload itself is stored inside a composite fairing 13.1 meters high and 5.2 meters wide, which, to help you visualize the size of it, is big enough to hold a school bus inside. And, as Elon Musk has shown, big enough to hold a Tesla Roadster as well. Upon the release of the payload, an interesting thing happens with the first stage. Special cold gas thrusters are activated and flip the rocket around these. The engines on the first stage are fired up once more and guided back to Earth, which is in itself a never-before-seen possibility with space technology. To aid with its re-entry, the first stage deploys special hypersonic grid fins, which manipulate the direction of the stage's lift. It's through the combination of the engines and these fins that help guide the rocket back home. Home in this case being the drone ship barge a special landing barge for the ship to return to separate from its original launch site, thus allowing for a more natural and cost-effective landing. In this, we go back to the point I made prior. The Falcon 9 is a wonder of modern engineering and science. Each piece is by itself a marvel and has pushed the boundaries of spacefaring technology. Then, with SpaceX's methods of construction, costs have been cut tremendously. So when Elon Musk says that SpaceX will likely be able to get a rocket to Mars with half a million dollars, I don't think it'd be too crazy to believe him. I hope I'm not the only one who awaits what further marvels the teams at SpaceX will come up with, and what other ceilings of technology can be smashed as we demonstrate that we're hardly done with space just yet. Before we go, the team here at Question would like you to know that we now have a Tumblr and you can follow us there if you want even more question in your life. 
Otherwise, share the video around and help SpaceX get some more eyes on what they're up to. While on our end, a like and subscribe is good with us. So, if you have any more questions, leave a comment below. And above all, thanks for watching. We can't wait to bring you more videos in the future. And with that, farewell. Until next time.